Why can we do that? Uh, yeah, you can, you can say that it is steady state. Everything comes down but be consumed steadily. Otherwise, you will have accumulation. So therefore, rate of coming in and rate of consumption is supposed to be equal. Okay. For this particular problem here, when you have both rate to be determined, I mean, in this case, reaction is not extremely fast, just like earlier. Earlier, and reaction is extremely fast, so this rate can be neglected. This one will be limited for sure. For in kinetics, this one is extremely fast, so you neglect this one, you keep that one for sure. But for this problem, these two are somewhat in the same magnitude. So you need to consider both. And concentration of A depends on how fast this mass transfer or this process supply A to the surface. So this rate is not constant number. It depends on concentration. In other words, it depends on mass transfer as well. Okay. So as long as we need to consider this term, that means this term, the speed of this term is not extremely fast comparing to that. Okay. So suppose we think that the reaction rate is slower than mass transfer rate, but not so slow that we can neglect mass transfer. This one's slow but not so slow. So we can still need to consider both. Let's consider if you have, imagine a road. You have a road down there, the one lane road, you, only one car can pass through. If you have Ferrari, you know Ferrari? The Ferrari can go very fast, right? How fast can you go in the Ferrari? maybe 200, 250 kilometers per hour. What about if you drive Ferrari on the road and in front of Ferrari, there's one car walking? How fast can the Ferrari go? As slow as the car walks, right? So the, f the speed is determined by this step. So it doesn't matter how fast you have, it's still limited by this step. So in this case, that's why we say that mass transfer rate would be equal to this speed. Okay, that's why we set up the equation like this. Now, from this, do we need to redo everything? Do we need to redo the shear balance? No, shear balance is supposed to be the same. Do we need to redo the combined flux? Do we need to change this equation? No, everything would be the same. So therefore, up to the integration, you still have one minus half xA equal to k1 power of z times k2. Everything up to this point does not change. The only thing that is changed would be boundary condition. The first boundary condition remains the same. Concentration in the bulk is equal to x a zero. But concentration on the surface is no longer zero. Now we need to use this as the boundary, as the second boundary condition. So for the first boundary, you have as z equal to zero x a equal to x a zero, same thing. But for the second boundary, at z equal to delta, what do we have here? We know that we need to use this rate, okay? Rate equal to k double prime c a, and c a is equal to c times x a. So therefore, x a will equal to flux divided by k double prime c. 
then you can take this back to the equation as the second boundary. However, by doing that, it creates complication because NAZ is not no number yet. Even though NAZ is constant, according to the shear balance, it is constant, but it is unknown at this moment. All right. So when you plug it back, you still get one unknown. In order to solve that, you need to calculate in iteration. <coughs> solve it repeatedly so that you can come up with the answer until the, the, the solution converge. Okay? Again, you still have one variable, which is NAC. So you still need another boundary. <coughs> the third boundary that you can use, you can assume. Now, the following boundary here is not correctly, I mean absolutely right. It is based on assumption. Now you can assume. You may assume dxa by dz as z equal to 0 becomes 0. Why? When you plot between z equal to 0 and z equal to delta, this um, variable is the slope of the concentration profile. So if you plot concentration profile, let's say if you plot between xA and z, as z equal to 0 here, concentration profile, will be, I mean concentration is high up here. Concentration is low up there. Along the way, it's changed. Does, uh, we do not know how it's changed. It may go down like this goes down like that, we do not know. But we know that at z is lower than 0. It means up here in the bulk, right? Concentration of A becomes constant. This layer is our film here. That would be the bulk. Concentration is constant in the bulk. So it makes sense to assume that slope here at z equal to 0 is 0. Okay? This can be applied as the additional boundary condition so that you can solve together with this boundary condition. All right. The answer or the solution was given in the textbook already. The equation is a little bit complicated, but the approach to solve it is just like that. Any question? Okay, if there is no question, that's it for today. We have no time to get into a new example, so just keep it until next time. All right, so see you next week.